Hello, my fellow masochists. Today it's Angry Mugtow, and I like this guy because when we get angry, we start saying some weird shit. Here he is. Angry Mugtow here, and today I'm talking about Shu On Head, the self proclaimed anti feminist that currently has over 300,000 subscribers on YouTube and growing. Yeah, I know the girl. She's very entertaining. She first hit the scene roughly about a year or two ago and has since then become a very popular figure in the anti-feminist community. Okay, this is starting to turn into a history of shoe on head, but go on. She also dates fellow YouTuber Armored Skeptic, who has taken quite a bit of time to bash MGTOW. No, I've not actually seen a lot of Armored Skeptic's videos, but I mean, I'm going to now. So thank you for that one, Angry MGTOW. And she's also bashed MGTOW in the past as well. Well, come on. You're just so bloody bashable, aren't you? She also has another channel, Shoe Offhead, where she's made at least one video attacking specific members of the MGTOW community. You know, I'm sure it wasn't your intention to make a video advertising Shoe on Head, but you are doing a bloody good job, kid. So, why are we talking about her today? Presumably because you're on some form of commission? Simple. Because Shoe on Head is a feminist. Hold on, Angry Mugtown, mate. Hold on, give me a sec. I think I got something incredibly stupid lodged in my ear. Shoe on Head is a feminist. No, I guess I did hear it correctly. And I will prove this point to you. Yeah, well, good. Good. I think you should back that up. People look at her and they think, oh, wow, here's a woman who really cares about men's issues and wants things to change. No! No? No! No? No. She doesn't. Oh, just like that, eh? Good proof. Good proof. If you listen to the things that she's clearly saying, she's complaining about all the things that feminism does to her and how difficult feminism makes her life. Actually, she on head was one of the people that inspired me to start my own channel responding to shit like this. And she also does a pretty realistic impression of the patriarchy. Blah, blah, blah. Feminism doesn't let me say the things I want to do. Blah. She has a YouTube channel where she talks. Blah, blah, blah. Feminism doesn't let me dress the way I want to dress. Look at that photo, Angry Mugtow. Look at the photo you were using. She's not wearing a fucking burqa, is she? Blah, blah, blah. Feminism says I have to have sex with a black guy. What the fuck, Angry Mugtow? That just took a nasty left turn, mate. Blah, blah, blah. She's crying about me, 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 me. That's how these women are. It's me, 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 me. As in you, 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 or shoo, 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 shoo. But she doesn't actually give two shits about men's issues. Okay, let's just have a little look on Shoe's channel and boom, six days ago, male birth control. Suck it, angry Mugtow. She doesn't care that... Ten times the amount of men will commit suicide than women. Alright, dude, it's not a fucking contest. Though I'd just like to say, if it were a contest, we are smashing it. She doesn't give a damn about any of these things. All she cares about is me, 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 me. Alright, Angry Mugtow, I'm starting to get the impression you really weren't hugged enough as a child. Or, or maybe you were hugged a little too tightly. Like most if not all other anti-feminist. All right, but you, is she a feminist or not, Angry Mugtow? I'm getting confused now, kid. And her boyfriend, Mr. Skeptic, all he does is try to compliment her horrible behavior and her annoying voice and those ridiculous doe eyes. Sounds like someone might be a little jealous. And I don't blame you, Angry Mugtow, because men going their own way sounds like a lot of masturbation. And simp to her. He has videos literally simping on this chick. And how does one literally simp? And he's a, he needs a special video, so I'll get around to him eventually. But right now we're talking about this little girl right here. This feminized little doll. Did you have to say that? Did you have to say that? That's just creepy. It's funny. Some people are going to attack me because they somehow think that by defending her honor, it means that they may just have a chance at having sex with her. What? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, sorry, Armored Skeptic, mate. I know I'm in a different country, but what me and Shu have got is real. Wow, that's pathetic. Fuck me, Angry Mugtow. I agree. Wow, that's pathetic. Jeez, that's so pathetic. All right, princess. I only agreed with you on the one thing. Wind your neck in.
some girl across the web, some girl across the web that could have HIV. Wow, you managed to make it worse. You guys are so desperate to sleep with her. A woman who is possibly HIV positive. In fact, it could even be full-blown AIDS. Why is it always full-blown AIDS? Why can't it just sometimes be AIDS? Reclaim the word, people. We want our AIDS back! And you guys are so desperate to sleep with her. And I'm not saying she has HIV. I'm not saying she's HIV positive. I'm just saying that we don't know anything about her, and the possibility is always there that she may have AIDS. Well, then why have sex with anyone, angry m- No, don't worry. Just remember who I'm talking to. And all these cucks are trying to white knight their way to sleeping with a woman who may be HIV positive or have full-blown AIDS. Do you remember a time, Angry Mugtow, it was a very, very long time ago, when you started a video on why Shoe on Head is a feminist? It was a very, very long time ago, but do you remember? It's a disgrace. It's a fucking disgrace. Men need to learn that, at the end of the day, these women are feminists. They are not here to help us. They are here to spread AIDS, right? They are here to complain about the lack of privileges that they are now unable to rip out of society because fem feminism is beginning to dictate what we can and cannot do, or rather what they can and cannot do. Does anyone remember Christian Weston Chandler? Is this him? They don't care about how feminism affects men. They don't care about how feminism controls men. In fact, they love that shit. Yes, which is why Shu has made a very popular channel based on her rants against feminism. They love that shit. They want to slap a bumper sticker on it that says, yes! Yes what? Yes, I have full-blown AIDS. Yes, what? When feminism starts making their lives more difficult, suddenly, that's when they start complaining. That's when they start bitching. That's when they start moaning. We've lost him, haven't we? He's gone. He's out of here. You would have thought having a big picture of Shu on your screen would keep you focused, Angry Mugtai, but no! And that's exactly how Shu on Head is. Oh, thank fuck. Welcome home. She is not a supporter of MGTOW. She really doesn't give two shits whether we live or die men in general. Well, I've got it on good authority that she's quite fond of Armored Skeptic. She's just on here to make her money and to complain that feminists have been mean to her. Yep, same here. Like all the other anti-feminist harpies. They're all feminists. Trust me, they are. Oh, no, it's okay, guys. We can trust him. We can trust him. Won't you please look after my children, Angry Mugtow? Will you please look after these nuclear launch codes, Angry Mugtow? So let me know what you think in the comment section if you agree that Shu on Head is really a feminist. I'll let you know what I think right now, Angry Mugtow. What I think is you spent so much time not saying anything in that video. I ended up having to cut out so much. There's kids in Africa who haven't got any video, and here you are just wasting it all. And that it's so pathetic that all these men are, tr are trying to white knight for a woman who may be HIV positive or have full-blown AIDS. Or just regular, run-of-the-mill, boring old AIDS. And again, I'm not saying she's HIV positive or that she has full-blown AIDS, but we don't know much about her, and it's very positive she has full-blown AIDS. <laughs> positive she has AIDS. That was clever. That was clever. And is on her deathbed. We really don't know right now what's happening with her. Six days, angry Mugtow. Six days. She's fine. She didn't win the election, but she's doing great. Oh, fuck it. You're not listening anyway, are you? Fucking taking my...